north of Europe, where the sun in winter often hides away for weeks on end. This is where Jack Frost has everything under control. The bear mother, meanwhile, leads her triplets through the swamp. She has plans. So do the little ones, but just perhaps not quite the same plans. It takes years before she manages to explain to them how to survive in the forest. And for now, her band of bears is otherwise engaged. sound that never bodes well. Mum too is on red alert. A male bear is on its way. This is no game. Mother stays in half open terrain. She can check for intruders and attackers better from here. The animal appears to have disappeared again in the thicket, so play on and practice being a grown-up. Someone say disappeared. The bear mother immediately leads her babies to the forest's edge. In the meantime, even the triplets know what there is to do. A final check to be on the safe side. The old animal really does only want to eat some vegetables. It's never too late to learn. The Moose twins have started out with their mother. Now they are a few weeks old, 
but they still wear their reddish baby fur. The moose cow attempts to stay well clear of all the dangers of the forest. Her calves would make easy prey for predators. Her milk is so nutritious that each of her little ones gains up to a kilo in weight daily. The mother stays with the twins until she falls pregnant again in the coming year. The great grey owl, one floor up in the forest, also has to look after hungry offspring. The male delivers the food, which the female divides equally under the nestlings, while he has the next rodent in his sights. Fresh voles and small birds are big favourites of the owl kids. This time, it's the smallest of the youngsters' turn. But isn't that morsel just a little too much to deal with? His sister is merciless. Not a very good start for the little mite. Even the mother seems baffled. If this carries on, the little owl will not be able to survive the summer. The scent of a carcass has lured another mother bear and her twins into the forest. Actually, the mother of the triplets lives here, but she is apparently unaware of the others and also purposefully guides her family in the direction of the dead moose. The other female bear listens carefully her offspring are a little bigger, but bear mothers with youngsters are exceptionally careful and aggressive, even towards other females. The meat ration is important, especially for the kids, so she remains. This is the point of no return. Confrontation looms. The twins seek the safety of a tree, while the mothers settle the issue amongst themselves. But the triplets don't really seem to know where to go. They have never experienced a conflict with other mothers. The twins' mother asserts herself, and the carcass is hers. She won't be scared off. Twins are delighted with the extra portion moose. The triplet's mother waits from a safe distance and comforts her youngsters. While the intruders fill their bellies with their moose.
an attack. This time emphatically. <laughs> That was loud and clear. The triplet's mother has regained the feeding ground. At least, for a moment. It won't stay this peaceful for long, surely. Hesitation. Now the twins' mother attacks. This time, the triplets understand. In the chaos, it's difficult for the mother to keep all three cubs together. She calls out for them to come together again. Now, it's her turn to attack, to protect her young. Her cub number three flees on top. Triplet's mother withdraws with just two of her little ones. Her smallest is missing. He's hidden himself in the treetop. The foreign bear mother lures her twins out of the neighboring trees. They also fled upwards. Cub number three hesitates. The foreign bear mother sees him and goes after him. Reason seem to chase after the little one. Too high. She leaves him alone. Pint-sized bear is in no mind to wander through the forest alone again. But the intruders are still there. Does the intrusive bear mother want to banish the cub, annoy or kill it? It's unclear. The smallest keeps his distance. It begins to grow dark. This time, he won't be able to find his family before the night falls.
Strange noises sound out in the forest. The pygmy has captured a mouse. The evening meal is shared in the nest. While outside, it gets darker and ever more uncanny. At long last, the sun rises again. The young, exhausted bear ventures down. He seems to have survived his first night alone in a branch fork extraordinarily well. But is the other female bear still nearby? Desperately, he runs off as fast as his tired little legs will carry him and tries to pick up the scent of his mother. The moose family will do him no harm. But he can't survive for long alone in the forest. His mother also had an uneasy night. She's been looking for him since dawn. At last, the little bear family is once again complete. The three siblings and their mother spend the entire day playing. In this way, all family members reinforce the essential bond between them. No one will find it easy to break up this band of bears. Whatever the little bear dreams of tonight remains his secret. Perhaps he's even dreaming of his next adventure.
Time and again, intruding male bears enter the forest of the family. While scratching himself, scent and hair deposits remain on the tree, a sign for others that he has claimed ownership here. The triplets have to be alert at all times. The grey owl father is hunting non-stop to be able to look after his little chicks. Meanwhile, the balls of wool have left the nest, but are still unable to fly. Even the weak chick has survived. Well, somewhat dishevelled, perhaps, but he's still in there and determined to stay. As the young birds now sit apart from one another, it's easier for their parents to distribute food rations fairly. No one takes anything from his beak anymore. Done and dusted, even the straggler can fledge. The osprey uses the long days of the Nordic summer to his advantage, as he has a lot to do. Hopefully, no one saw that. Rare forest reindeer. Now, in the summer, they're having a good time. The youngest calf keeps the entire herd on the go. Playtime first, then to mother. But where is she? Found her. Carried by the warm updraft, the osprey winds higher and higher. Summer provides the most heavenly conditions. For fish hunters,
The goosander female is also a pro at catching fish. Unlike the eagle, here everything has to go down in one go. The osprey father is ardently expected at the nest. During chick breeding, the parents have their hands, sorry, beaks, full. Wherever a lot is put in, a lot has to come out. The days of summer bear fruit, berries for the bears. The omnivores find plenty in late summer. Sweet tasting delicacies everywhere in the woods. Depending on the time of year, Scandinavia's bears now eat more fruit, seeds and nutritious roots. The three have grown. It's all a matter of building up fat reserves for the coming winter. The siblings have survived their first summer. Soon, they will join their mother in a cave to hibernate. triplets are no longer so easily frightened as they once were. Two adult males are scuffling with each other on the adjacent clearing. There's a lot of power behind a swipe of a paw like that. But somehow, the bears managed to avoid any real injury, although a few trees have a tough time. Squabble. It was all for her. The winner rushes to his chosen one. Female bears always attempt to pair up with several male bears. As a mother, she has good reason. If different males came into question as a father, her children are better protected, as the males always leave their, ostensibly, own children in peace. Nonetheless, this mother prefers to keep her offspring from the year before at a distance, just to be on the safe side. Good tactics. The male doesn't appear to care too much about other young cubs at the moment.
Then it's enough. The pairing was successful. But hard work, considering his weight. His legs don't want to carry him any longer, and he's worn out. Now, there's just one thing he wants. There's no doubt, the short summer is coming to an end. Scandinavia's forests are an explosion of color. Migratory birds make their way across the skies and down south. And mooses go off on their search for a partner. The moose ball brushes his bast. The skin that had just covered his antlers is full of blood vessels and provided the growing bones with nutrients. Now after growth has ceased, the skin begins to dry out and hangs in tatters from the antlers and appears to disturb him somewhat. Moose antlers can weigh up to 20 kilograms It's icy cold now in the early mornings. The white frost transforms the land overnight. Two young wolves suddenly appear without their pack. The pups were born in the spring. As long as the others are out hunting for prey and they are alone in the clearing, they can let off steam to their heart's content. Was something there? The forest reindeer kick up some noise. Two young stags pit their strength, and the old top gun just looks on. At the moment, the two teenagers are not serious rivals. But he will have to keep an eye on them once they are grown and carry on like this. It's now also time for the mooses. The bulls have begun flaming or tasting the air to discover which female in their locality is ready to mate. They spend the entire year alone and only meet up in the autumn. Lesser developed antlers mean that this young deer will only be a spectator this year. But the oldie's interest in a certain cow doesn't appear to be particularly successful. Oh. 
An old pro never gives up. Newbies can learn a lot from him. And in the end, patience pays. Well, it's a first attempt. And if you weigh half a ton, you can be quite pleased with the shortest of pleasures. Well, that's most romance gone to pot. Bears are keen on lovesick mooses because they're easy prey. This female bear has backed one. News spreads fast amongst the ravens. Her kids are almost ready, three years old. They will soon leave their mother's side. In the winter, they have to live purely from their fat reserves they have acquired by eating. A testing time for all bears. The first flakes herald the early and hard winter. Some are pleased to see ample amounts of snow. But not the bears. The onset of winter has apparently surprised one male. While the majority of his conspecifics are already lounging in their safe caves, he is in desperate need of calories. The wolf's kill seems decent enough, but the pack is still in the vicinity. Whatever, he must use this chance. He feels uneasy with the situation. Rightly so. The wolves wouldn't even consider giving the bear even the minutest of morsels from their prey. up with nothing. The wolves celebrate their victory. Jack Frost has returned, and with him, the shortest days and the longest nights, in which, hidden deep inside a cave, perhaps another female bear has just given birth to cubs who can hardly wait to experience their very first spring in Scandinavia's woods.